I'm joined on the line by Previn Naika at 23 years old. He's Wits University's youngest PhD graduate. It's an extraordinary story. In fact, him and I matriculated in the same year in 2005, but quite unlike the rest of us, Previn, you were just 14 years old. So start us at the beginning. Um, you were obviously a very talented, talented student from the get-go. Um, yeah, I guess you could say that, uh, but I think I was also quite fortunate. Um, in primary school, um, I was uh, entered into a maths Olympiad, and um, <clears throat> I guess I did pretty well there, and I was given a scholarship um, for high school, and I was allowed to skip grade seven, and um, in grade eight, we had an accelerated program uh, at my school, and a group of us actually uh, were then allowed to skip grades uh, 9 and 10. And uh, so we uh, did grade 11 and uh, we matriculated in 2005. So <clears throat> it was a lot of hard work, but also we had great teachers who were there to support us and obviously the support of our uh, families as well. So yeah, I think I'm actually quite fortunate uh, as well. Yeah. Now, after you matriculated, you went on to do your undergraduate degree. Tell us, where did you do it and what did you graduate with? So, uh, I did my undergrad at UKZN, uh, so that was in biomedical science. And then after that, I did my honours in medical biochemistry at UKZN as well. Um, so, yeah, so that was, uh, I completed my honours in 2009. And then you made the decision to go to Wits University. Why? Yes, so in 2010, I actually took a gap year. Uh, so I had a lot to think about at that time. I was still fairly young. Um, I was looking at the job space, uh, but I made a decision that I wanted to, you know, further my studies and, well, you know, become a researcher. So in the field that I'm in, um, it's, it really helps to have uh, more uh, postgraduate qualifications. And uh, at that point, I wanted to do, look more deeper into uh, some of the topics that I, have been, I had been exposed to. So uh, the, the really top research unit in, um, for protein structure and function in Africa was at Woods University. So I decided to, to start my master's there and eventually completed my PhD there last year. Did you ever anticipate that you would be Wits University's youngest PhD graduate and what does it feel like? Um, I haven't had much time to actually, uh, you know, soak it all up. Uh, um, the, the week after I got my final letter to say that I had, uh, you know, uh, achieved my PhD, I started working. So. <laughs> I haven't really thought about it too much. For me, it's it's not, you know, a huge difference. Um, you know, from, from I mean, I mean, of course, it does make a difference that I'm that I'm at the stage uh, much earlier than others than my peers. Uh, but for me, I just want to you know, push on from here and, you know, do the best that, that I can. I can do. I, I, when when I started my PhD, I wasn't really thinking you know, about being the, the youngest. I knew that I was young, everybody knew that I was young, but uh, it was never, you, you know, a goal to, to be the youngest. Did you find that because of your age, there were um, certain aspects of the, the degree or even just getting along at university that you had to adjust to? And um, how did your, your classmates um, deal with, with your age? Uh, so initially in undergrad, it was, uh, it, it was quite obvious. Uh, that I was younger, I entered when I was 14. Uh, but I mean, you, you know, so some of my uh, fellow uh, matriculants were also uh, young as well. They were about a year or two uh, older than me. So I did have a few people that I could, uh, you know, relate to. Uh, and oddly enough, um, my sister also uh, started university the same year as I. So. Uh, I had people around me to adjust, and once I started making friends, it was it was you know a, it was it was quite normal. Um, with regards to the post grad, there wasn't really you know any any issue at all when it when it came to age. Like 
initially people see that you're younger, you get a few uh, jokes coming your way, but uh, other than that, you know, it's, you, you, you're there to do your job, yeah. Now, Pravin, as part of the CSIR, you're making important strides in the South African science space. Why don't you tell us a little bit more about your work and your research? So, um, I've been doing my uh, postdoc for about seven months now. Um, I'm working on a few projects. One of the projects is um, uh, looking at developing um, some of the, the microsphere particles that have been developed here at the CSR for use in the uh, biochem uh, biochemical industry. Um, well, strictly more, more to do with uh, biochemistry research. And the other projects that I'm working on uh, deal with uh, you know, improving the diagnostics and uh, vaccine matching of some of the livestock diseases, um, well, mainly in Africa, but around the world as well. Um, so, you know, so I, I can't give all information about what I'm working on, on right now, but, uh, but yeah, that's, that's basically what, what I will be doing in the next few years. And finally, on a personal note, your, your loved ones, um, your family must be so proud of you. Um, how, how have they reacted to your extraordinary success? Um, I think they're more excited than I am, <laughs> to be completely honest. Um, but it is, it is an achievement. And uh, well, they, they, uh, well, my loved ones really want everybody to know about me. I, th I think they feel that uh, I would inspire other you, you know, uh, students and upcoming re researchers to you know, pursue their goals. Uh, but, but on a personal note as well, you know, people who have been supporting me all this while, you know, to, to see something good come of it is always you know, something really special. Yeah. Finally, Previn, what is your message to young South African researchers, specifically those who want to go into biochemistry? Uh, at times, uh, you know, from my own experience, it can be really difficult. There can be a lot of hurdles. Uh, and all you can do is persevere. Even when you c cannot see the bigger picture of your research um, and if results aren't going your way, and, and especially when you are dependent on those elusive results to actually you know, go, go on and, and go further with your work, it can become quite uh, frustrating but also disappointing. But uh, you know, you have to persevere, you have to look on, on the bright side of things and, and, and keep working at it and, and, and it will all come together. That's Previn Nyker, who at 23 years old is the Bits University's youngest PhD graduate. Previn, thank you so much for speaking to us and from everybody at News24, we wish you the best of luck with your career.